Let's do a little bit more with gradients. So open up the file that we completed the last time. And I have it here as uh, start, exercise to start. And here, of course, we have a shape. It's a drawing object, which is a rectangle, and it's got a red gradient. Let's open up the color window. And we'll select that just one more time. We can see the choices to make that gradient. Let's go over and select the oval tool. And for the oval tool, we'll have no stroke. For the fill, we'll start off with the radial blue gradient. And then somewhere on the stage, we'll draw a circle. Hold the shift key down to get it perfect. And then we'll make sure we have it selected. And you can see we have a radial gradient. And in our color panel, we'll select the first color, which is the blue, and we'll lighten it up a bit. It's just more or less a, a choice using your eye, which you might like. Okay, so radial gradients are pretty easy to do, and you, again, can add multiple colors to your gradient, depending on what kind of an effect that you think you can get out of a radial gradient. Let's try another rectangle. And then the rectangle fill will go for this last multicolor striped gradient, which you see gives us several colors. And no stroke, we'll stick with no stroke. Somewhere on the stage, I'm going to draw a rectangle, squarish, maybe a little rectangleish, about the width of that ball. We almost can call it a ball at this point. Then I'll go grab the selection tool. And what I might do is, um, on the edges, uh, curve them in a bit. And sort of make a pedestal for the ball. And we'll go back and choose the free fr transform tool. And hold the shift key down and enlarge that a bit or maybe I'll just enlarge it without constraining it. I'll select both of these and somewhat center them on the stage and uh, let's do one more and that'll give us pretty much a good idea for the basics of gradients. Uh, we'll go back to the rectangle tool. We will select, select the other striped gradient and then on the stage I will draw that and I want to bring it back one of the Z order levels so I'm going to select the rectangle I drew and I'll right mouse click and choose the arrange and let me see if I can just uh, send it backwards and there it is it's underneath the previous one I drew and maybe what I'll do is use the free transform tool again and uh, do a little skewing and try to rotate it around and give it almost a tabletop look maybe rotate it just slightly and make it even a little bigger than than the actual stage and so when we publish the movie, it will appear off stage. And if we look at the choices over here, it's just a starter or a preset gradient. They've been around since the very early versions of Flash, and it just gives you a starting point. So you have several inkwells to start working with, and, and then you can finish it up. So that'll get you a good start with the gradients. They're not too hard, and you can apply them where you need them.